Hi, my name is Rebecca Logan. When I first got an email from Carrie about the Real Women Real Songs writing challenge, my first reaction was, no, I don't think I can do that. And I kind of put the email away, but it kept gnawing at me. So I wrote back and said I was interested. I wanted to hear more. And something, something inside me made me think, even if I wasn't sure I could do it, I wanted to do it and I, I want I want to be able to so I've accepted the challenge and it's exactly that it's a challenge I have just released a new record and the album is full of songs that I've written over the past two or three years and I know I'm gonna have to release another one at some point and right now I'm at a completely blank slate I don't have any new songs that aren't on a record and for me that's a scary place to be in because you know people always want to know what do you have what's new and I've been so focused on recording an album and booking my own tours and playing 200 shows a year that that I I haven't had time to write I haven't made time to write and so what I'm hoping is that this challenge will motivate me to make time to write I, I'm getting ahead of myself I think um so my name's Rebecca <laughs> I'm a full-time itinerant folk singer, which I think is a fancy way of saying well-dressed homeless person. I've been making my living playing music full-time since 2009. I did it before that as well, you know, kind of on and off. I have a degree in audio engineering. Don't expect my recordings to sound very good though, because I don't have a mobile studio set up. But I went to Berklee College of Music in Boston for recording engineering, got that degree, worked as an engineer for a little while, but took the advice of a professor to uh, indulge my creative side instead of relegating myself to a life of engineering. So I used my access to the recording studio to record my first album, Hey It's a Lonely World, and once that was out I just started touring, I hit the road. And I've basically been on the road ever since. Um, you know, it gets better and better every year and I was really lucky last year to appear as a singer on a reality TV show called The Voice, which was on NBC. It was a bizarre experience. I'm glad I did it. It was incredibly hard. It was really scary, and it made me realize how strong I am as a person and psychologically for being able to uh, withstand that six-week uh, experience. And now I'm just back out on the road, and I have a much deeper appreciation for the career I've built for myself, for the types of shows I'm able to play, for the audiences that I'm able to connect with, and I've just been, you know, an absolute basket case of joy <laughs> on the road the last couple of years, just soaking up every minute of it. So anyhow, you can see me in on tour in person. I'll be traveling all over the country this fall. I've got an album coming out, so I'll be doing, you know, a national coast-to-coast -coast CD release tour while writing a song every one to two weeks. Um, wish me luck. Come hang out. Give me song ideas. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited about this challenge. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really hard for me because I'm not a very prolific or fast writer. And what they, what they always tell you about writing is that you need to silence your inner critic and just write from a place of yes and complete the song whether or not you think it's a good one and I agree with all that advice and I pass all that advice on to other songwriters but between you and me I don't follow that advice I'll start a song I'll get two lines in and then I'll start thinking yeah that's gonna sound really good on an album and I'm gonna I'm gonna add drums I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and suddenly my head's in a different place and I'm not I'm not looking to express whatever sentiment originally made me capture the song and I think that those types of distractions have been popping up for me more and more, whether or not it's distractions of my inner critic, distractions of me thinking about how this song will affect my music career, or even just working on a song and suddenly the phone buzzes or the email dings or the Twitter, Twitter pates or the Facebook, Facebook culates or something. I mean, I just, there's so much drawing on my attention and I'm writing in shorter and shorter phrases on all of these social media sites and that is making it harder for me to through compose a full letter or a full essay or a full song. So I'll probably have to do a little behavior modification in the next year in order to slow my brain down and kind of force myself to avoid distraction in order to finish the songs in these challenges. But 
I think that that's uh, something I need to learn right now. So I'm excited to be doing this. Thank you to Carrie for doing all of this organization, getting this together. And next time you guys hear from me, I'll have a brand new song for you. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs>